Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here today to look at a new car pack that just dropped here on a set of Corsa from the Escuco Drift family, the Inertia Irish Pro Car Pack. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all which are found in the description box below. So the new car pack that did just drop during ESDA's live stream, the Irish Inertia Pro Car Pack from the Skuko Drift family. I'll leave the link for the car pack down in the description box below. We're going to take a look at the cars here today, drive some of them for the first part of it because we're going to be doing another part to this video with some tandems with the guys. So the Inertia Car Pack does have five amazing cars so we're going to be taking a look at those today so let's uh go take a look in a set of corsa so we do have kevin quinn's s15 and it's definitely a very sweet looking car we got the link ecu livery on there as well and as well as the inertia liveries so then we also have james dean's fd oryx 7 in there of course you have james dean's livery on there DSD livery as well. And then we have Jack Shanahan's 8.6. Then we also have James Dean's E92 Eurofighter. And then we have the 180SX. So we're going to be taking a look at these cars and driving them here for today. And uh, try to find out where we want to drive. So I'm trying to figure out what course we're going to hit up. So I'm going to figure that out. See you guys on grid. So first car we decided to bring out is that 180SX. This car sounds so good. All the backfires and all the pops of this car. The car looks amazing. So these cars are definitely very well put together. So it's the first car we're driving. We did decide to bring it back to Aussie. Haven't been to Aussie in a minute. So let's uh, take a quick look inside the car. The modeling is amazing super clean super nice and very very crisp we gotta have our lights on we can see the dashboard so let's go full send here at aussie drift co aussie 2020 oh i just love how this car sounds so i know some of the people that had their hands in making these cars and i just wrecked them hands in making these cars these cars are supposedly very easy to drive oh man we're already sending it and first impression of it oh my gosh bang that fifth gear i love this car sound oh probably one of my favorite sounding cars so far and from a driving standpoint this car is so easily controllable off the rip nice and smooth definitely having a lot of fun with it so far and it's just first real impressions of these cars like i said we will be hopping in tandems with some of the guys and stuff like that for another episode on these cars we have a couple part series for these new inertia car pack cars big duck club esda boston podium all the sponsors from esda on here oh man this car is loud Throwing up in first person for you. Probably should have adjusted the seat back a little bit. But this car is so nice and so easy and fun to drive. Definitely, uh, like I said, very unfamiliar too much with the right hand drive in first person in cockpit because more comfortable on the left side of the car being my natural side of driving oh there's a wall so i feel like this car would be way better for me if i did back the seating position up some maybe brought it up a little bit yep that's uh much nicer right there. So we're going to run another lap in this and we're going to switch up cars. We're going to go full send on this jump drift. Fifth gear. Oh, man. 
<laughs> we <laughs> do not hit the curb because that will end you. So let's go switch up cars. We'll be right back. Next car up is James Dean's E92 big Euro guy. So you guys know since I work for BMW, this car. Oof. Definitely uh, hits home with the Euro. And of course, with James Dean interior, as James Dean does drive this car overseas. So we are going to go full set on this. We're going to back this up a little bit. There we go. I've been in first person first and that, you know, the HTK kit. Once again, you know, right hand drive cars. Not my strongest, go full boost. Try not to hit, okay. We just go wall tap reverse entry, right? So, <laughs> these cars, I am driving them off the rip without any type of tuning. So this is how the cars really react. And overall, these cars are amazing to drive. These first two that I've driven feel really comfortable, very smooth on transitions, very easy to get into and just straight up drive. They are a competition style car, but they were built to be easier to drive, which, you know, is very good for people starting off in competitions and stuff like that, that want a good fast paced car. These cars are quick, but they're also quite, quite forgiving. Oh, it's so much louder outside the car. Doesn't like the jump drift too much, so that's one thing that we would probably have to adjust suspension wise. Does these cars have dog box? They do. They have the same six speed style that is in my Pro S15, so that is super nice. And when I say that, if you guys don't know, you do not have to use the clutch when shifting up gears. You do need it to get going, but once you start going, you can just kind of stay in throttle, bang into gear. We're about to be out of gas in the E92, so that's going to end this E92 run up. Oh, as we hit the wall like we did that car, so we'll switch up to another car and uh, maybe get some brap braps in here. So James Dean's RX-7, a little brap brap in here. Definitely a fun sounding car. So we're gonna go full send on this for this episode. We'll take a look at the two other cars once we get in, ta in another episode with some other guys doing some tandems. Oh, oh my, yep. I do like the sound of this rotary. This one actually handed that jump pretty well. Oh no. I'm kind of bogged down. I don't know if I'm in actual full boost. Yeah, we are. Fourth gear clutch out and I think just sends it. I know I sound like a broken record with this, but saying these cars are super easy to drive. Now this car is a little bit different being as how you have to be up in full high revs for anybody who drives the uh, rotary lives no high rpms or no rpms these cars are love to be abused on the limiter Had that I fell out of boost. Once again, another view that I have to back up a little bit to be comfortable in. And of course, right hand drive, as always. Having a lot of fun with these cars, so definitely check them out yourself. I'll leave the link in the description box below for you guys to check them out. We're out of gas. Pop that in the neutral because we uh, are out of gas. So that'll do it here for this episode here on a set of Corsa. And hope you guys are 
excited for the second part of this. We'll take a look at the other cards as well as get some tandems and things of that nature. So make sure you follow me on all social media, all that you follow in the description box below. As always, I'll see you guys on the track. No more Brat Brat. It did.